The team at Infinity Ward have taken a deep dive into our Mazra, the Warzone 2 map, and given us a little bit more detail about the map design. Let's dive in and see what they said. The biggest challenge to creating a map at this size is the amount of people that need to touch it. Almazra is, is so large. We have so many POIs. You don't want to have a lot of diluted themes. So all of our locations are very interesting. There's a lot of visual elements that make each one iconic in its own way. We really looked into city planning, just like things that usually run day to day in a real city. For example, like street signs. We try to make sure that we have these different locations mentioned in these signage. So we're trying to link all these places so the player has an understanding of um, where they are and where they're going. Design's also going to kind of start with a idea of gameplay for a specific game mode. So we might design a location on the map as part of a ground war space and then from there figure out how it can fit into the BR spaces, how it can fit into 6v6 game modes. We mainly focus on how that space will be experienced by players, especially with the hanging mechanic as an example, really allows the players to parkour, travel through the maps, jumping from rooftops to rooftops, and then parachuting out of the space. We now have a, a river flowing all the way through. We have boats, tunnels, different areas underneath water that the players can discover and find new ways to infiltrate certain areas. Some of the new features that we're introducing in Almasra is the introduction of AI, which we have strongholds which are heavily guarded, buildings or locations in those points of interest that usually hold some of the better loot. Once you start engaging that, there's a good chance that other teams are gonna hear you and they're trying to reach the same loot. So it creates this awesome dynamic. You have these two teams or multiple teams engaging in the same location all to get to that good loot. The players can really take advantage of the new terrain and play against their playstyle. If you want a vantage point, it is the Mount Zaya Observatory. I personally like to drop down down there and just kind of, you know, get my bearings. It's fairly open, so it's really easy to just dominate the space. 